Welcome back, everybody. This is Mart. Another Game Jam game. Another clothing shift alone. Sheesh. That's kind of loud. Oh. You have no idea how relieved I am right now, haha. <laughs> Don't sweat it, man. Well, um, anyways, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. I was there earlier, actually. I overheard the manager talking to you. Must suck running the store all by yourself. I wouldn't be able to handle something like that. I'd be too scared. <laughs> I'm a big coward. I wouldn't know what to do if I hadn't... If I had to entertain an aggressive customer. Uh, I'll go casual. I'm used to it, but now I don't really have much of a choice. It's a dog-eat-dog world, so I gotta roll with the punches. Oh, that crap. Oh, is that so? I'm honestly kind of jealous of you, man. So, have you ever actually encountered, like, actual bad people on your job? I mean, that job's... Yeah, I do. There's this one homeless guy who comes in every now and again and pisses outside the door. No, not like that. <laughs> I mean, like, actual bad people, crazies and sickos who actually tried to harm you. Well, yeah, unfortunately, there's this area is not that good at night. Bunch of vagrants and people high on drugs. I'll leave this place once I get enough money. That's awful. How do you deal with that? From what you've shared so far, you've come off as a person who can uh, protect themselves. I don't like this. This guy's gonna come in here and try to kill me. It's against company policy to get physical abuse. I said I've gotten into some situations where I've had no choice. Don't tell him that! I didn't think that's what that answer would have been. I thought it would have been like, yeah, it was no big deal. Just some crazy people trying to get physical with me. I de-escalated the whole situation. Not, not, okay. Seems like you're handling your job pretty well. I guess so. But you can call for help when in serious trouble, right? From the authorities. This guy's gonna come in and kill me. He's, he's scoping the place out to make sure that I'm alone. And defenseless, so he can come in and rob the place and steal me. Oh, I didn't see what that said. Uh, fair enough.
I, I would never have said that in, out loud in public. Yeah, you're probably right. He is kind of a, how do you put it? I won't snitch, I promise. Haha, -ha, I'm dead. I'm gonna get fucking killed. He's an asshole, basically. Don't give enough shit about what happens to his employees. Yeah, convenience stores don't have security people. So, not having something as basic as functioning cameras really makes you feel less safe, don't you agree? Well... The cameras are really just there as a deterrent. Like, they wouldn't actually do anything to... If, if you're working alone, the camera's not gonna do jack shit. I mean, I guess you could sit there and Five Nights at Freddy's watch the cameras, but... I mean, in a real... In real life... The security camera's not gonna do anything. They don't have... They don't usually have alarms built into them, especially not for a convenience store. Absolutely, I'm pretty much screwed if some thug figures out that the cameras aren't working and tells his friends about it. Not much I can do. Uh, I guess the only thing he can do is have faith that nothing bad happens. Right. This guy's gonna kill me. Hello, you there? I did the music pick up. That was it. All right. That wasn't bad. I liked the music. This ending. Wait. Huh. All right. Yeah, I, I liked that. I know I skipped over a lot of the dialogue. Like I didn't read it out loud. But, uh, I, I liked it. That was kind of fun. I liked the music. Um, it's just a little too short, I think. Kind of scary, I guess. More creepy, I guess, than scary. It was alright. I wish there was more to do. I guess there's two endings, which is... I can't complain about that. That's more than my game has. But... Hmm. Mart, everybody. <laughs>